let's cross over to the Milimani Law Courts where Leila Mohammed is standing by uh, following the court proceedings there. Uh, Leila, we do understand now that Miguna Miguna was actually produced uh, at a Kajiado court and charged there. We were expecting him to be produced at the Milimani Law Courts. Uh, and also uh, the appearance by the Inspector General of Police, Joseph Boynet. Uh, did he actually appear? Well, Victoria, as you have clearly said, Meguna Meguna was expected in this court at around 9 a.m. He, together with uh, the Inspector General of Police, uh, Joseph Boynet, uh, together with the DCI, uh, Mr. Uh, the DCI, who both these three gentlemen did not appear before uh, this particular court. Uh, this morning, uh, Nicholas Motuku from the office of the DPP uh, brought about the issue that uh, actually Miguna Miguna was alive and well, and he was being charged in a Kajado court. Those charges that he's facing before that court in Kajado was uh, being present and consenting to the administration of an oath to commit a capital offense that is namely treason contrary to section 59a of the penal code and uh, this uh, particular letter uh, is what was the cause of contention between the lawyers in court uh, lawyers representing miguna miguna saying that uh, uh, the documentation itself was not authentic uh, the headline was by the kenya police force and uh, yet uh, that is not recognizable now uh, all uh, documentation from the police service should be uh, namely headlined as national police service and uh, they were saying that that document is suspect. So uh, Dr. Mutuku is expected to go back to court and appear before Judge Luca Kimaru in an hour or so at about 12 p.m. and, and just uh, create the authenticity of that document. And uh, the lawyers for Miguna Miguna have asked the court to request that, uh, or to actually to order uh, that Miguna Miguna is brought back to Nairobi because uh, it is uh, stated in that uh, piece of charge sheet that it is the officer commanding uh, police station of uh, central police station here in Nairobi who signed that charge sheet. So they say why would it be taken away to another county all the way to Kajiado County that according to them does not make sense. It was a very uh, packed uh, uh, courtroom earlier this morning. Uh, there was an, uh, an expectation that Miguna Miguna was going to be brought to court and if not it was expected that the government should give an assurance of uh, where he was and he one of his lawyers actually Harun Dubi saying that he needed to be brought to court alive or dead and uh, there was the presence of a multitude of lawyers all dressed in their official robes and adorning uh, the purple uh, the purple r r ribbons on on their robes uh, this is one of those signs where uh, the lawyers say despite uh, the political differences in the country uh, they are coming to stand together with one of their own the last time we saw uh, lawyers come out with such ribbon colors it was when a lawyer kimani was was missing and a few days after that he was uh, found dead uh, somewhere in machakos county and uh, today they were saying that uh, they do not understand why for the third time uh, running Meguna Meguna was not being brought to court and uh, Nicholas Mutuku just came to to clear the matter and insist that uh, uh, he was alive and well but he was answering to various charges although uh, Dr. Khaminwa who was probably the lead counsel insisting that uh, why should a lower court take precedence over a higher court because this is a higher court in Kajar he was appearing before a magistrate's court and uh, he was asking just, just Judge Kimaru to immediately request for that uh, uh, documentation to be brought to Nairobi within the hour and uh, for Meguna Meguna to be brought to court so that the cases can be put together and they are answered here in Nairobi where the offenses are supposedly having taken place. So here before this particular court he is facing charges of taking part in an unlawful assembly contrary to section 511 of 52 sorry of the Public Order Act Cap 56 of the laws of Kenya and again he is also facing charges of engaging in organized uh, uh, act, armed activity contrary to section 3A read with section 41 of the Prevention of Organized Crime Act number 6 of uh, 2010. So 
At 11, uh, Nicholas Mutoko is expected here uh, to explain to the court the authenticity of those charges facing Miguna in Kajiado County. And then again at 2.30 p.m., uh, the judge, uh, Luka Kimaru, is expected to give his ruling on the way forward. Uh, they were, there was a lot of concern by the lawyers uh, of Miguna Miguna. Why the Inspector General of Police and the Director General of Police, the, the Director of Criminal uh, investigations, George Kinoti, were not present themselves despite there being a court order that they appear personally before this court. However, there are two gentlemen who appeared on behalf of uh, the IG and the DCI and this uh, uh, Stanley Cheriot, an ins assistant inspector general of police in charge of the, the legal office in the National Police Service, as well as Amos Omuga, a senior superintendent of police in charge of legal affairs, they were going to stand in on behalf of the IG and the DCI and uh, this was not going down well with lawyers on the side of Miguna. Miguna, Dr. Khaminwa insisting that uh, since uh, uh, there was clear breach of the law, it was expected that these two gentlemen having come here to stand in on behalf of their bosses should be taken in and detained until uh, Miguna, Miguna is officially brought to the court and uh, something uh, Dr. Mutuku said that these two gentlemen have nothing to do with this case. They were just appearing uh, because uh, their seniors were in, a, in another meeting and they were not able to appear in court. But those are arguments that the other side of the divide was saying. Even if they're in a security meeting and they're meeting the president himself, uh, nothing supersedes a court order. And uh, it is important for those who are tasked with the responsibility of looking into uh, executing uh, legal affairs should be the first ones actually to respect uh, the rule of law. So there was a back and forth uh, for the last one hour in this courtroom. Uh, Hamin was saying that uh, he would like to remind uh, Mr. Muchuku, Mutuku that uh, a judge made clear uh, that uh, Dr. Miguna was expected to be brought here before this particular court uh, by the IG and the DCI, and it was important for this court not to be made fun of uh, because it is the, the will of the people and uh, an independent entity. Uh, while uh, Mr. Mutuku insisted that uh, uh, it was not a matter of... Um, of, 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 of play here. Uh, these were legal occurrences that were going on. Uh, but uh, he was reminded that last evening when Miguna Miguna was expected to appear before this same court at 2 p.m. and uh, they the police failed to bring him here, uh, the ODPP's office uh, did not show any signs that Miguna Miguna was going to be charged again in another court, different charges. So his lawyers are wondering why now that this new set of cases are coming up uh, uh, when on a day when the judge was very clear that he should be brought to court and the inspector general of police should be here uh, personally to answer those questions and uh, Mr. Khaminwa was very categorical and he gave uh, uh, some points to the former uh, DCI uh, and he said that when a lawyer uh, Kimani disappeared uh, at that time he asked the judge that uh, the DCI then to appear before court and explain himself. And he says, despite the fact that uh, they have disagreed on various instances, he gives him a credit for appearing in court and uh, taking to the stand and answering questions and being cross-examined and giving his side of the story. So he was expecting that the current DCI, George Kinoti, and uh, Joseph Boynet, as the Inspector General of Police, would uh, really uh, show some courtesy to the court and and appear before it and just answer questions and allow to be cross-examined in this case uh, where lawyers were saying uh, that the rule of law has uh, uh, clearly uh, been uh, put to the back bench when it is expected that the National Police Service should be the ones that are really championing for this cause. So Victoria, it's been an hour or so of uh, activity in this court and it is expected again between 11.30 a.m. and 12 noon, uh, Dr. Mutuku will be, be back again uh, before Luka Kimaru and after his uh, submissions then uh, it is expected that at 2.30 uh, we shall be knowing the way forward what the court has ruled in terms 
terms of what next uh, for Meguna Meguna and if the Inspector General of Police will be sought for contempt of court. Uh, and Leila, before I let you go, were any of the state council present or any of the individuals representing the IG of police and the DCI, did they explain why Miguna was not released even after he was granted bail on Friday? Well, Victoria, those two gentlemen who appeared before this court were not allowed uh, to speak before the court. Uh, remember I told you before uh, that the side representing Meguna Meguna said that they have nothing to do with this case and they had no reason to speak before the court. So the honors really went to Dr. Nicholas uh, Mutuku, who is from the office of the DPP, uh, to explain the reason why those two gentlemen were before the court and uh, the session ended uh, before any they could be able to speak and before uh, I forget uh, there was also another submission before the court uh, lawyer Harvey presenting to the court uh, that he wanted anticipatory bail uh, for a few members of the NASA coalition who are members of parliament uh, they had uh, requested that uh, they get that particular uh, guidance from the court because they were fearful that uh, they would be arrested by the police. The judge has ordered so that uh, they appear before uh, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations uh, this Thursday, the 8th of February at 11 a.m. and uh, that the police should not arrest them. They should just go there and have uh, a discussions on any other matter before that. Uh, uh, and after that, uh, they can be allowed to go home and then come back to court on the 13th, which is next Tuesday uh, for them to be able to to get any way forward by the court. So there were two instances of these cases happening uh, immediately one after the other. Uh, this was because uh, uh, there was a lawyer, the former ombudsman and the member of parliament for Arieda, he was fearful that probably he, he could be falling into the uh, the circumstances that have found his colleague TJ Kajuang and uh, Miguna Miguna. All right, thanks. Uh, Leila Mohamed there speaking to us uh, from the Milimani Law Courts, a very comprehensive update on what happened there this morning, 2.30. Of course, this afternoon we'll be waiting to hear more uh, on the developments uh, from that case, as well as getting you pictures of uh, Miguna Miguna being produced at the Kajado Courts today.